All right, we're going to go over how the pieces move, and I'm going to presume that you're an absolute beginner. So just going to give you a light, a light explanation. You can go ahead and you can check YouTube videos, or you can check a book out of the library that could give you even more on how the pieces move. But this is a really, really basic, down and dirty uh, kind of explanation. So pawns, which would, uh, let's say if we're lining it up on the white side, and remember uh, um, that uh, the white square, when you're playing, always goes to your right. You'll notice that your opponent has one there to his or, his or her right as well. So the pawn um, generally can only move uh, one position. So um, it can move uh, uh, to promote itself all the way down, uh, or if there's a piece to the side, it could capture to the side. So in this case, if it was white to move, white could capture there. And if, uh, it, was, if it was white to move, white can capture here. Now there is some, another step here called en passant, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. So from the very first position with the pawn, the pawn can have a choice of either going on his very first move, either one position or two, but thereafter can only go making a move um, one at a time on its turn. If there is another a piece that positions itself um, uh, in its line of fire, it can capture to the side, but generally it promotes all the way down in the pawn. is the only piece on the board that can turn from a pawn into um, into any other a piece except for the king. So you can have more than one queen, theoretically, if you can promote all the way. Okay, so that's a pawn. Now the knight, is, the, the knight moves um, in three, uh, and it's the only one that can jump other, uh, uh, over other pieces. So let's say there's a pawn there. The knight can move um, a total of three squares. So one, two, three, or one, two, three, or one, two, three, or one, two, three or back here, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three or one, two, three. So it moves in an L shape. Um, and so this is just a quick down and dirty for you. All right, so now a bishop, whatever co uh, color it's set up in the beginning, if it was set up, um, if you had the full set of uh, pieces here, there would be a bishop on the white squares and a bishop on the black square, squares. Uh, whatever you start with, you can't move off of that. So the bishop moves in a diagonal, so it can move on its turn all the way over to the, the end, or all the way to the end here from the white uh, starting and ending. If it was positioned here, for let's say, it can move all the way um, all the way up or all the way back in a diagonal fashion. Okay, that's what you need to know about that. Now a rook, a rook can move um, up and back, side to side. So if it's positioned here, I can move from this position here all the way over to this side here, or I can move all the way over to this side here on my turn, or I can move up all the way if I wanted to, or I can move halfway, and then I can either choose to uh, move uh, further up in the ranks or backward or again to the sides. And that's how the, 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 the rook moves. It moves up and down, side to side. Okay, the queen can move like any piece on the board except for the knight. It cannot jump over other pieces. It cannot move in an L shape, but any of the other pieces, it can move that way. The king is, in terms of its ability to move, it's actually the weakest because it only moves in one, uh, one um, square in any direction. So it can move forward, uh, diagonally, or uh, backward. So uh, that's the end on how the pieces move. It's just really rudimentary uh, uh, explanation here. You can uh, look up for yourself on um, how pieces move on YouTube or uh, Google search uh, how chess pieces move and they'll go into greater detail. But I'm just trying to give you a down and dirty because uh, I want you to be ready for the next lesson.